According to the Multiple Sclerosis International Federation, there are about 2,3 million people with MS, mostly between the age of 25 and 31, with around twice as many women diagnosed as men. Founder of MS Namibia, Bianca Osken, at a media conference held in Ventuk says, there is a need to educate and create public awareness on the invisible symptoms of MS and the unseen impact the disease has on the quality of life. In Namibia, <laughs> the prevalence rate is around about 0.001% of the total population, which brings us to an estimate of 2,400 people in Namibia that may have MS. At the moment, on our database, we're looking at just about 40. Um, this is as a result of misdiagnosis, not diagnosed yet, stigmatization, and simply um, ignorance or yet not knowing. MS organizations around the world are commemorating World MS Day, which aims to improve the quality of life of people living with MS by sharing their stories on social media under hashtag MyInvisibleMS. This day is initially celebrated on May the 30th. In multiple sclerosis in Namibia envisaged to support each and every person with MS in Namibia by means of fundraising, events like We Are Going Orange, digital disruption, global thinking, confidence, measuring and communicating impact. 30-year-old Egan Moton, who was diagnosed with MS in 2015 at the age of 26, shared his story. I remember when I was first diagnosed with the multiple sclerosis, it was quite horrific, terrifying. It felt like it was the end of my career, the end of my life. But despite of everything that I went through and was going down, I knew that I could still make a difference. I'm not denying that I have MS, but I refuse for MS to be part of my body, part of my life, and part of my future. There is no cure yet for multiple sclerosis, but there are treatments available that can help improve and manage symptoms in many ways. Julia Nafuka, NBC News, Vantuk.